Real talk, guys. I poop at the same time every day. Do you? What does that? Anthony here for D News, and it's Poop Week, wherein we examine all the many mysteries of poop. Because why not? Everybody poops. I read it in a book. Trace kicked us off by explaining what poop is made of and just how your body assembles it. So check that out. Today, I want to talk about your poop schedule. They call it regularity for a reason. It seems to happen around the same time every day. Why is that? But well, first of all, what is regularity anyway? A lot of people think it means pooping once a day. Depending on your age or diet or daily routine though, it can actually mean anything from three times a week to three times a day. You might even go a week without a bowel movement and that can still be considered regular. So everyone's on a different schedule and that's fine. We're like beautiful, unique, pooping snowflakes. But what keeps our schedule so on schedule? I mean, I change up what I have for breakfast, when I have my coffee. What keeps everything so clockwork? Well, part of it is that your gastrointestinal tissue actually has its own place in your biological clock. So the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which controls when you're tired, when hormones are released, all that stuff that keeps your body running on a 24 hour cycle, actually has a part of itself dedicated to when you poop. But there are more subtleties in there too. All kinds of stuff contributes to your poop schedule. Hydration, food intake, emotional state. Coffee and cigarettes can make you poop because they're natural laxatives. So if you have that 8 a.m. coffee when you get to work every day, you're probably also going to have that 9 a.m. trip to the bathroom. So warn your coworkers. According to Liam Holt, a microbiologist at UC Berkeley, even your microbiome might influence your poop schedule. The unique gut bacteria that lives inside of you. We've all got different bacteria inside of us and they probably evolved to make us poop at times that are helpful to their own life cycles. I mean, that's not known for sure, but the hypothesis comes from the fact that we see just that behavior in certain diseases like cholera, where bacteria creates a toxin that makes your intestinal cells secrete a ton of water and salt and makes you poop a lot. So if the bad bacteria makes you poop when they want to, the good bacteria might as well. So there you go. Everything in your life from your brain to your bacteria are conspiring to keep you pooping at exactly the same times every day. Just how regularly? Well, let's find out. We're all friends here. So we at D News, along with some other brave contenders in the test tube office, are going to be logging our poop schedules all week. This is what we do. These are our jobs. We're also going to be doing a live Facebook Q&A on Friday to break it all down. So if you haven't already, go like D News on Facebook so you can join in on the craptastic conversation. I didn't realize it, but breaking it down was kind of a poop pun that I did. Go me.